All manufacturers mask their prototypes when they either road or track test them. And sometimes that's called a camouflage, but that's misleading because you're not trying to hide the car, you're trying to disguise the shape. Just like the dazzle camouflage used on ships in the early 20th century, we use bold graphic shapes that warp perspective. When you see a trapezoid shape, you kind of assume you're looking at a square that's been twisted away from you, and the colour gradients in the pattern add to that effect by suggesting shadows. We used a CG model of the concept car to judge the design and to work out the best scale and frequency of the shapes. Finally, the artwork is printed onto five meter panels of plastic film. It's heated as it's applied to make it more flexible, but it still takes a steady hand and patience to get it on the car without all those creases and bubbles. Trapezoid shapes are also featured in the Gazoo Racing liveries, which provided a helpful link back to the brand and the design also started to feel like a waving checkered flag, which is a really strong link back to motorsport. The camo was first seen at the Goodwood Festival of Speed when a prototype made a few runs up the famous Goodwood hill climb. In fact, many fans expressed a desire to see the camo as a customer option, but I'm sure most are just desperate to see the finished car in all its glory.